So this is Mel. Are you nervous, Mel? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> of course you are. It is quite daunting. Okay, first thing, when you rock up for filming with me, there's some rules. Clean bike. This one's not clean, but for next time, Go she'll on. have a clean bike. The lights have to come off. All this stuff has to come off the saddlebag. So let's take the lights off. And you should always have bottles in your bike as well. It just looks a bit more pro, you know, even though we're on the rollers. Okay, so now I've got Mel here. I've got her bike on the rollers. One thing about this session is that she's got the absolute best set of rollers for learning. They're manure rollers. And for two reasons, they're very sturdy and steady. They've got big rollers, they're wide. So they're perfect for learning. The first thing when you take them out of the box is to make sure that this roller is adjusted forward or back to be directly under your axle. Maybe the roller a little bit forward, but directly under your axle is a really good reference. So we've already set that up. Mel and I have the same size bikes, so we're ready to go with that. The other great thing about these manure rollers is they have a step. And nearly all the rollers I've had in the past, they don't have the step. So get the manure rollers, they've got the step. It'll make life a lot more easier. So Mel's ready to go. One hand on the saddle, your other hand here. And now you need to lift yourself up and swing your leg over. <laughs> Let's see how she goes. Okay, that's brilliant. Now, <laughs> what I want to do in this session is teach her to ride the rollers without hanging on before she learns to ride hanging on. And the reason is that steering the rollers is all through the hips. If you grab the handlebars and you start to steer, that's when you're going to come into some trouble. So, Mel, what I want you to do now is leave this hand on and get your other foot into the pedal. Once that's clipped in, you're clipped in? Yep. Yeah. You never want to look down. You want to look about two metres in front of you. Okay. Don't look down at what's going on. Okay. Now what I want you to do is just rest this hand with your fingers on the handlebar, yeah? Yep. And try to get your body upright. I think we've got someone that's just too, na too much naturally talented for this. Um, she's doing a fantastic job. And I'll just stand next to her here. When you get confident, you can let go of that and you can sit up. Yeah! And that'll teach you to steer through your hips. And try to sit your body right up straight. <laughs> uh, okay. Now when you've got someone here, she's going to clip out with both of your feet. Yeah, try to get that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Gee whiz, it's a bit scary, isn't it? And it's hard work, right? So yeah. Hard. This is what I love about the rollers. You only have to do one hour and it's like doing two or three out on the road. You have to have every muscle switched on to balance that bike. So Mel's got very good core stability. She trains like a machine. She's been a world champion in running in sand, so she's strong from the top to the bottom. Never done this before, and as you saw, she had a great <laughs> first attempt. Now we're just gonna try to teach her to steer this bike without holding the handlebars. So we're gonna have take two now. One thing that we forgot to check before is what gear is she starting in? She's in quite an easy gear, so we're just gonna drop that down a few gears. So if you just pedal those pedals for me, Mel. Yeah, we want to be somewhere around the middle of the cassette at the back. Yeah, break on. So she's got that naturally. She, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so she's got the break on naturally, which is a very good sensation. You don't want to have no break on when you're clipping in. Now, what I want you to do is slowly try to get your body upright before you take your fingers off the handlebars. So you can put them there to steady the handlebars, but get your body sitting right upright as much as you can. Scary? Yeah, not scary, it's a lot harder than I... If you pedal a little bit slower... Yeah. Yeah. And just slowly take the pressure off that, but just while you're pedaling. <laughs> Turn that core on. Yeah. Turn that core on, sit up straight. It's amazing, I've got every bit of core on. 
Okay, so take a rest now. Brakes on, see how that was done beautifully. She doesn't need much coaching. She's really got the hang of this already. We're gonna have a little bit of a rest because it is hard work. So the reason that I'm trying to teach Mel to ride the rollers no hands is because when you start to learn, people think that they need to steer the handlebars and that's when they end up running off the edges. So if you can learn to actually ride the rollers using your hips, that's how you actually steer the bike. So I can steer from that side to that side, you know, and I can wobble around a bit like this. So it's all, all the steering is through the core and through the hips. And if you can learn to ride the rollers no hands by holding onto a wall first, you'll be much more comfortable when you get to the level of, now I'm gonna do some sprints and some efforts. Because you don't steer with your hands, you just rest them on the handlebars. So. We're going to get Mel back on now and we're going to see if she can actually get that feeling of how you steer the handlebars from this side to that side. See if she can learn to steer the bike on the rollers without holding the handlebars. So another important thing about your first time in the rollers is not to have your tyre pressure too hard or too soft. So if you go somewhere around 90 PSI, you're going to be pretty safe. So if it's too hard, it's just going to be a little bit too touchy. If it's too soft, it's going to be too hard to steer. So around 90 PSI is going to be great for your tyre pressure for your first go. Foot onto the step, over you go. She's got a brake on so she can push into that one. To get up to speed. And then she's going to try to get this hand onto the wall over there and see if she can. Oh, push through those hips, steer through those hips. Well, <laughs> steer through those hips. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, here we go. Let's see if she can do it. Concentrate. Look out that way a bit more. <laughs> okay. There we go. Slowly pedaling. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow pedaling. Okay, look out that way. Yep. Wait, slow pedaling, slow pedaling. Through there, steer through those hips. Come on, steer through those hips. <laughs> so, this technique with no hands was a bit of an experiment. We're going to go back to using hands now because Mel feels much more comfortable doing that. So, we're going to go back to oh, yeah, baby, you're riding the rollers. <laughs> Yeah. That's the, you need to steer through those hips, yeah? That's going slower to me felt like I had less control. Yeah, and you can compensate by going in a bigger gear. The danger of Mel going very fast when she's learning is that when she hits the side and falls, it'll be more dramatic. <laughs> so. But we don't want drama. <laughs> This is a really, really good effort, Mel. Not many people can do that so quickly. So, I'm just gonna move out of the way and let her do half an hour. <laughs> Mel has mastered this very, very quickly. She is quite naturally talented, so we see that she's picked it up quite quickly, but I think the rollers help as well. They're manure rollers and they are fantastic for learning. So grab yourself a manure rollers, let me know on social media how you're doing, show me some pictures and videos. Um, I'll try and work out what's going wrong if you're having trouble and I'll help you out. I love riding the rollers. And Mel's done about 15 minutes now and she's starting to feel super fatigued. So the great thing about rollers is you get a really good session in a really short amount of time. So well done Mel, you've done great. Bye.